Learning is the key process of what our brains do every day. As it turns out, not only what happens during the day when you learn new information, but also what happens while you sleep is incredibly important. You wake up the next morning and you remember things you've learned the day before. As it turns out, the fact that you've slept that night of sleep really makes a difference. In fact, people have suggested that the specific electric activity patterns during sleep enable that reprocessing and long-term storage of the things you've learned. The issue we've had so far is that we did not know if those electric activity patterns are a side product of another process in your brain, or whether these electric activity patterns cause and enable that reprocessing storage or consolidation process. The reason why we're interested in this process of memory consolidation and the underlying mechanism is because we want to develop new treatments for impaired memory. We've developed a new form of non-invasive brain stimulation where we used weak electric current targeted to the scalp, so weak that you cannot feel it while you sleep, and only when the brain generated on its own that sleep spindle, then we would apply targeted stimulation. The main question we wanted to answer though was, does engaging these sleep spindles really change the process of memory consolidation? The way this is classically measured is by doing a memory task where you have to learn something in the evening before you go to sleep and the next morning we assess how much of this you remember. The more we manage to enhance someone's sleep spindles, the more they improved on that memory task. Sleep spindles, the activity pattern that we target in this study, are selectively impaired in a number of disorders of the central nervous system, such as schizophrenia and Alzheimer's. We hope that as a next step, we can test this new form of brain stimulation in patients whom we know have impaired sleep spindles.